Item number, SCP-860, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-860 is to be contained in a small wooden box, in a vault at Sector By itself, the object is inert, and no further containment procedures are needed. Description SCP-860 is a dark blue key of unremarkable shape. At seemingly random intervals of time, a series of numbers, later found to be UTM coordinates, will appear on the key's blade. In the time SCP-860 has spent under containment, the numbers have changed three times, giving the coordinates for Germany, England, and Site SCP-860 can fit in any door lock that requires a key located in the area of the given coordinates, and will function identically to the correct key for that lock. SCP-860 only works on door locks, and only if they are attached to a door. It will not work on any other type of locking device. When SCP-860 is used to unlock and open a door, the door does not lead to its usual destination. Instead, it opens into a small forest clearing, centered on an 80 centimeter wide footpath, designated SCP-861. Every observation of this grove has noted the presence of blue-colored mist. As soon as any person enters SCP-861, the door automatically closes. From inside SCP-861, the door appears attached to an infinite concrete wall and is locked. No attempts to break the door from outside, with personnel inside SCP-861, have been successful. Attempts to break the door from inside SCP-861 have resulted in See Document 863 for more details. The trail inside SCP-861 usually leads to another door attached to another infinite concrete wall. This second door leads to the normal destination room of the door on which SCP-860 was used. A number of other anomalous events have been reported by personnel conducting explorations of SCP-861. These are explained in more detail in documents 861 through 864. Following the events of Exploration 4, described in document 864, only level 4 personnel may perform tests on SCP-860. Incident 860-12 On days after Exploration 4, SCP-860 was found on Dr. R's office table, meters from its containment unit. The item's containment locker had not been opened. Video surveillance from AM shows the key suddenly materializing on top of the table. It is currently unknown how or why SCP-860 was moved. The incident had a profound effect on Dr. Psychiatric evaluation is recommended. Addendum. Below are the transcripts of Explorations 1 through 4. Level 2 personnel and above may access documents 861 and 2. Only Level 4 personnel and above may access document 863 and 4. Document 861 and 2. Below are the transcripts of Exploration 1 and 2 into SCP-861. Exploration 1 realized on Exploration 2 realized on Exploration 1. D-3456 is a 31-year-old Caucasian male of average build. Psychological background is unremarkable. Class D designation is the result of a demotion due to data expunged. D-3456 is equipped with an LED flashlight, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, and an audio headset for communication with Dr. That control. D-3456 inserts SCP-860 in the door leading to an abandoned house on Street, Germany. He turns the key and opens the door revealing SCP-861. D-3456 staggers. Doctor, please proceed. 
D3456 hesitates, then passes through the door. After he takes two steps, a loud bang is heard. D3456 turns quickly. The door is closed and attached to a large concrete wall. D3456 moves towards it and attempts to turn the knob. D3456. This is locked. How the hell am I supposed to... Doctor, please follow the trail, D3456. The exit should be on the other side. D3456 sighs, then turns around and walks down the trail. After walking 64 meters, D3456 stops. D3456. Did you hear that? Doctor, no sound came through the audio feed. D3456. It sounded like a howl or, or something. It came from the woods. It seemed far away. Doctor. A howl? Like a wolf? D3456. Not exactly. It sounded weird. Distorted. Doctor. Please proceed down the trail. D3456 starts walking again with increased speed. After 43 meters, the mist starts to thicken and acquire a deeper shade of blue. D3456. It's starting to get really hard to see here. This flashlight isn't. D3456 suddenly starts to turn around. D3456 shouting. Did you hear it now? Doctor, nothing came through the audio feed, D3456. What did you hear? D3456, shouting. Same thing as before, closer. How the f*** didn't you hear it? It was... Doctor, please continue to follow the trail, D3456. D3456, shouting. No, you don't get it. It... A loud roar can be heard coming from D3456's left. D3456 screams and starts running down the trail. Every 10 seconds, the sound of steps coming from behind D3456 can be heard, starting off distant and increasing in volume until they appear to be less than one meter from D3456, at which point they stop. After running 68 more meters, D3456 reaches a large concrete wall with a door in it. D3456 kicks the door open, revealing the main hall of the abandoned house. D3456 enters, turns around, and closes the door. Two minutes later, he opens the door again, revealing Street. D3456 shows extreme paranoia for the following weeks claiming to hear the same howl in the distance when alone. Effects seem to fade after weeks. D3456 now behaves normally. Close analysis of the audio feed revealed that a very low sound could be heard the second time D3456 stopped. Exploration 2 D5674 is a 27-year-old South Asian female of below average physical fitness. Psychological background indicates extreme xenophobia. Subject has an extensive record of data expunged. D5674 is equipped with an LED flashlight, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, and an audio headset for communication with Dr. that control. D5674 inserts SCP-860 in the door leading to an abandoned house on Street, Germany. She turns the key and opens the door, revealing SCP-861. D5674 passes through the door. After she takes two steps, a loud bang is heard. D5674 turns. The door is closed and attached to a large concrete wall. D5674. Doctor, follow the trail, D5674. The exit is on the other side. D5674 turns around and walks down the trail. After 94 meters, D5674 stops and turns to the woods. 
D5674. Did you... Did you see that? Doctor. What? D5674. Did you see those... Those... Doctor. Yes? D5674 is silent. Doctor. What did you see? D5674 does not respond. Twelve seconds later, she resumes walking down the trail. Doctor. D5674, please report what you saw. We need... D5674. It was nothing. Mist must have tricked me. D5674 walks for ten more meters before stopping again. Doctor. D5674, why did you stop? D5674. Low monotone. Silence. Can't you hear it? Doctor. What? D5674. Low monotone. It's calling me. I have to. I have to go. Doctor. D5674, you can't... D5674 removes the headset and puts the camera on the ground, facing the trees. She proceeds to walk off the trail, into the woods, until she disappears from sight. Nothing more happens until the camera's batteries run down. Addendum. The door leading to the abandoned house remained closed. Attempts to remove the key from the lock failed, as did all attempts to open or break the door. Seven months after the incident, the door suddenly opened and discharged a very old Asian woman. When questioned, she affirmed herself to be D5674. She refused to elaborate on what happened after she left the camera on the ground, even under extreme pressure. Subject was found to be much calmer and more polite than before Exploration 2, and, apart from talking about what occurred to her inside SCP-861, followed every order issued to her without complaints. Two weeks later, she died in her sleep of natural causes. Document 863 and 4. Below are the transcripts of Exploration 3 and 4 into SCP-861. Exploration 3 realized on... Exploration 4 realized on... Exploration 3. D2562 is a 35-year-old Caucasian male of strong build. Psychological background indicates data expunged. Subject shows a record of violent behavior under pressure and is responsible for the murder of people. D2562 is equipped with an LED flashlight, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, an audio headset for communication with Dr. at control, and a fire axe. D2562 inserts SCP-860 in the door leading to the house of Mr. located on Street, England. He turns the key and opens the door, revealing SCP-861. D2562 hesitates, then proceeds through the door. After he takes two steps, a loud bang is heard. D2562 turns. The door is closed and attached to a large concrete wall. D2562. Now what? Doctor, please use the axe provided to try to destroy the door. D2562. Uh, you sure? Doctor, please do as instructed. D2562 places the camera on the ground, facing himself in the wall, and proceeds to hit the door with the axe. He hits the door four times before quickly turning around. D2562. Holy shit! Did you hear that? Doctor. No sound came through the audio feed. D2562. It was a f***ing loud roar, man. How could you not? Doctor. Please calm down and proceed with your task. D2562 keeps looking at the woods. Doctor. D2562. Please remember our agreement. If you don't follow our instructions... D2562. Yeah, I know that. It's just... Okay. 
Okay, no problem. D-2562 resumes his attempts at destroying the door. After he has hit the door twice, a small piece of wood breaks off. Seemingly encouraged by this, D-2562 proceeds to hit the door harder. After nine blows, an extremely loud roar is heard. D-2562 screams and starts swinging the axe in the direction of the camera. A large data expunged paw appears in front of the lens. D-2562 charges and data expunged. The sounds of data expunged could be heard for hours after that, long after the camera batteries ran out and showed no signs of stopping. Dr. decided to cut the audio feed after hours. Exploration 4 From now on referred to as Subject 1 is a 41-year-old African-American male of above-average build. Psychological background shows no abnormalities. Subject volunteered for the exploration. Subject 1 is equipped with an LED flashlight, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, and an audio headset for communication with Dr. at control. Subject 1 inserts SCP-860 in the door leading to an empty room in sight. He turns the key and opens the door, revealing SCP-861. Subject 1 proceeds through the door. After he takes two steps, a loud bang is heard. Subject 1. The door just closed, no? Doctor. Yes. Please follow the trail. The exit will be on the other side. Subject 1 proceeds to walk down the trail. The grove shows notable differences from previous explorations. The mist has acquired a slight red hue, and incomprehensible murmurs are heard through the audio feed, although Subject 1 seems unaware of them. Subject walks for 123 meters. Subject 1. Place seems different from what you described, Doc. It's giving me the... Wait. The hell? Subject stops. In front of him, the trail forks into two paths, one of which is made of cobblestones. Subject 1. Uh, Doc? Which... Which way should I go? Doctor. This... Uh, this is new. We haven't seen it manifest like this before. Subject 1. Well, I guess I'll... Shouting. Oh, f***! Subject 1 turns around. The trail has disappeared. Thousands of trees have replaced it. The mist suddenly turns data expunged, and the murmurs increase in volume. Subject 1, shouting. Doc, what the f*** is going on here? What is this noise? Doctor, please calm down and proceed down the cobblestone trail. Subject 1. I'm not a f***ing guinea pig, Doc. Just because I volunteered, I don't... Shouting. Oh my god! Doctor. What? Respond. What do you see? Subject 1 starts screaming and proceeds to run through the cobblestone path. The murmurs suddenly cease and only Subject 1's screams can be heard. He runs 143 meters before the camera is suddenly thrown into the ground. Subject 1's screams cease. The camera is turned towards the woods. The mist is now thick enough to block sight completely beyond two meters. Doctor. Do you hear me? Subject 1. Data expunged. Doctor. Subject 1. Data expunged. Doctor. Oh god. There is no further response from Subject 1. Three seconds before the camera's battery ran out, a very low noise was heard. Analysis of the video feed showed two glowing yellow spheres for one frame in the last second of the video. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-859, Arachnophobic Orb, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.